Praise to the Lord. Praise to the Lord. Certainly we honor the Lord Jesus Christ, who, who is indeed the head of our lives. We thank Him for life. Amen. We thank Him for His mercies that He has extended unto us. Amen. Even to be in the house of the Lord this day, the 31st of March, 2013. The Lord is good. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us corporately, amen, praise His name together. We honor the Lord Jesus Christ for the life of our Father and our Bishop and our Overseer. Come on, give the Lord thanks. Give the Lord thanks. We can be very good back together, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Praise God. God is good. God is a good God to us. And we, we honor the elect lady of the house, Mother Rivers, in the name of the Lord. Come on, give the Lord thanks. Give the Lord thanks. We thank God. Amen. We keep in perfect peace whose minds are staying in Him. Amen. Now we have seen the scripture live out in our life today. As we look at the life of our father and our mother, that the Lord has been good to us and to them. Come on, shout it and give the Lord thanks. Amen. God is good. And we honor the Lord for Ella. Lord Ricketts, come on, give the Lord thanks. Amen. God is good. Amen. To the entire ministerial fraternity of this church. Amen. We salute you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And to all the saints of the Most High God. Amen. Called to be saints. Separated unto God. And sanctified by the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Call to be saints. Amen. And to the friends and loved ones that is worshiping with us, we welcome you to the house of the Lord. Another Lord say, Amen. I was glad the writers said, Amen. When I was asked to go into the house of the Lord. If you have your Bibles and share your Bibles with someone, Amen. In the name of the Lord to St. Matthew chapter 28, verses 5 and 6. Amen. And as we read thereafter, that event is coming. Amen. To Sing. Where are you there? In company. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're there, just say, I am there. Let's read verses 5 and 6. St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verses 5 and 6. Let's begin. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that he seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. All right, turn to two persons and tell them, He is risen. Amen. He is risen. Shout a hallelujah, somebody. The nails of the cross, the nail of pride. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of scribes who love to go in long clothing and love salutations in the marketplaces and the chief seats in the synagogues and the uppermost rooms at feasts, which devour widows houses and for a pretense make long prayers. We each shall receive great, greater donation. Jesus said unto him, 
friends, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Jesus and took him.
question of how we waver, how we seek to avoid responsibility and to blame others for our actions. Oh God, do not let us deceive ourselves. Our indecision hurts us and creates walls between us and others. Oh God, we know too that our indecision hurts you. The nail of cruelty. Then the soldiers of the government took Jesus into the common hall, and they gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him, and put him, put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had planted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knees before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off him and put his own raiment on and led him away to be crucified.
Let's shout that hallelujah and glory in the house of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And the angel said, He is not here. He is risen. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Hallelujah. He's not here. Chapter 2, he's not here. The tomb is empty. Oh. Hallelujah. To the apostolic Christians, Jesus of Nazareth is the most paramount figure of all time. There is none like him. He is the only person that has emerged on this planet called Earth and divides time into BC and AD. To us, Jesus Christ is the greatest man that ever lived. He is the savior of all mankind. And he is the giver of immortality. He is the judge of the world. We call him the son of God. But he's also very God. For the word said, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the Apostle Paul writing between AD 50 and AD 55, writes to the church of Corinth and said, For I declare unto you first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas and of the twelve, and after that he was seen of about 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain until this present time. But some are falling asleep. And after that he was seen of James and then of the apostles. But he said, but last of all, he was seen of me also. Hallelujah. I have seen him. Our text presents a holy woman, Mary Magdalene and Mary. They came early to the sepulchre. Their intent was to embalm the body of Jesus. Their intentions were good. But when they came into the garden, they met a proclamation by an angel. He is not here. He is risen as he said. He told you. He is not here. Was sorrowful. But when they heard the next statement, he is risen, it gave them joy. Then the angel said, go and tell my brethren that I am risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But allow me in a few minutes to look at a few things in this text. First, look at Jesus. He left the grave. And he left all the spices in the grave. Because you recall that Joseph of Arimathea, bought and brought 100 pounds of myrrh and olives to embalm the body of Jesus. He left that in the grave. He left his grave clothes. He never came out of the sepulchre wrapped in grave clothes. Remember when he called Lazarus from the grave, Lazarus came out with grave clothes. But Jesus came out unwrapped from grave clothes. He left all the grave clothes in the grave. Hallelujah. He's not going back there. He went there once. Hallelujah. My God. Not only that, that he walked out of the grave clothes, but he left the grave clothes neatly folded. Hallelujah. That when Peter and John went into the sepulchre, Peter saw the napkin neatly folded. He had time to step out of the grave clothes and pick up the grave clothes and fold it neatly and left it in order. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's all of God. He's a God of order. He does not let anything in this order. So when Peter walked in, everything was in order. He left two angels. One that sat on the stone and one that sat where he lay. They were his bodyguards. And they left a message. Why seek he the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. Come see. 
see the pit where they lay him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Brothers and sisters, there are many people in our world today that are seeking to find Jesus. However diligent is your search, however sincere is your desire. Amen. Jesus cannot be discovered in every place. There are some seeking for Jesus among the monuments of ceremony, ceremonialism. You can't find him there. He's past ceremonies. There are some trying to find him among tombs. He's not there. There are some trying to find him with a good name. He can't find him there. They're trying to find him in philosophy. He's past that. They're still trying to find him in meditation. He's far beyond that. Even the great philosophers at Athens try to find him by a statue they call the unknown God. But the Apostle Paul said, The word by wisdom you not God. Reason cannot find him. Speculation cannot find him. Hallelujah. But if you can come in contact with this Jesus about his resurrection, if you can believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, amen, you will have an understanding that he is alive and well. The word of the Lord tells us, amen, that when the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea, three days after in slain the Lamb, Amen. It was a type of his resurrection. The word of the Lord says at the emergence of Jonah, after three days in the fish's belly, Amen. That Jesus declared as Jonah was in the fish's belly for three days and three nights, the Son of Man shall be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. And then King David, being a prophet, Amen. In his anointed prophetic anointing, David declared, Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh shall rest in hope. The day is that thou will not leave my soul in hell. Neither will thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Thou will show me the path of life. David, David saw Jesus going into the heart of the earth. And in his prophetic mantle, he got a revelation that thou will not leave his soul in hell. And that he could not see corruption. Hallelujah. So now, amen, these ladies got the message. Come see the place where they lay him. He's not here. Hallelujah. For the word of the Lord said that there was a man by the name of Cleopas and his company. They left Jerusalem dejected. Amen. On their way home to their village, eight miles from Jerusalem. And while they were journeying, they were talking about Jesus, who they thought would have been the deliverer of Israel. And while they were communing among themselves, the word of the Lord said that Jesus joined their company. But they did not know him, for their eyes were open. And as they turned, Jesus said, What matter of conversation are you having as you walk? And Caiaphas, the spokesperson, said, Art thou a stranger in Jerusalem? And has not known the 
prophets, he expounded unto them the scriptures concerning himself. Hallelujah. Concerning himself. Jesus talking about himself. Jesus going into prophecy about himself. Jesus stepping into Moses prophetic utterance about himself. Jesus stepping into Isaiah Jeremiah about, about himself. He stood in their midst. The word became flesh. The word spoke to them. The incorruptible word declared for food. Just 
started the Adventist movement I talk about the Lutheran churches started by Martin Luther I talk about the Mormon church the church of the Latter-day Saints by Joseph Smith I talk about the Jehovah Witness movement by Joseph Smith I talk about the Buddhist faith started by Buddha That's why we 
Somebody shout victory! Yeah. Hallelujah! Glory be to God! Then Paul said, His resurrection gave us deliverance from this present evil world who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from the present evil world it is only in his resurrection that we have power over this evil time hallelujah because the word said our life is hid in Christ who is in God and so now thank God for the resurrection thank God for the power I'm so glad he came from the grave Hallelujah. I believe I have a few witnesses in here. Amen. Who have evidence the resurrection power. Amen. Paul said there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who are not after the flesh but after the spirit. Hallelujah. It is because of his resurrection why we have life in Jesus Christ and the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. And the writer said he died. Amen. For us. He became poor that we might become rich. He took our shame so that we can have his glory. He took our pain so that we can be healed. He took our sins that we can be forgiven. He took our death so that we might live. He took our flesh so that we might get a better body. Hallelujah. But brothers and sisters, look with these women one more time as we close today. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord says that there were some miracles that took place in the graveyard. Hallelujah. Look at this man called Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God, the Bible said that it was all for the first time in the graveyard. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, because Jesus rose from the dead and became the first fruit of them that slept. Hallelujah. The great thing is when they laid him in the tomb, it was only his body that they laid him under the support. But the real Jesus, the Spirit of God, hallelujah, went down in the heart of the earth. And Apostle Peter tells us that he went down there and he preached unto those souls that was their captive in hell. Hallelujah. So for three days, Jesus was preaching a revival in the heart of the earth. God went down to hell one time. He's not going back here again. He preached unto those souls. I believe he preached unto Job. But Job said, if a man die, shall he live again? And I believe Jesus said, Job, you shall live. 
Lord, I feel it. They came out of the grave. My God, what a spectacle. Hallelujah. Come on, Abraham. Come on, Moses. My God. Come, Jeremiah. Come, Isaiah. Come, Nahum. My God, my God. I wish I had somebody. Come, Deborah. Good God for God.
certain parts of the world because they revered a certain spot and some folk that they claim and revere that and all they can do is build monuments over it Hallelujah. but I went to Jerusalem twice and we walked into the spot we walked in the Lord and we bent and went in and we saw where they said they did there's no bones there's no remain we saw the dark domain and he lived forever with the same strain he arose he arose hallelujah Christ arose lo in the grave he lay Jesus my Savior waiting the coming day Jesus my Lord vainly there watch his bed for pilots sent soldiers to watch the dead. But they, they watch his bed. Jesus, my Lord. They, they steal the dead. Jesus, my Lord. For Pilate sent his cat to seal the tomb. Hallelujah. But the writer said, death cannot keep his prey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not the word of God. Not God in flesh. Not Jehovah Nissi. They could not hold this one. Jesus, my Lord. He tore the bars away. Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Death is no terror to us anymore. Death is slain. Death is defeated. Hallelujah. Thank God for his resurrection. And if you're here, my friends, and I've not accepted this resurrected Christ, death has your key. Death controls you. Death had you in bondage. But today, but today, this resurrected Christ can lose you. Hallelujah. You look fearless, but the thought of death terrorizes you. You're acting macho. But when the doctor says you're going to die, there is a terror. You can break this terror today. By accepting the resurrected Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Here and call you today. Jesus. My Lord. He's calling. He's tenderly calling. Today. Right now. You can hear the animals cry. It is the Lord calling you. So make me your child.